What is our main purpose? I see a lot of young people going round, spreading a lot of death curses. In person, I feel we need a lot of soul searching. Despite to the things of God, you and I both hurting. But what if somehow we had to evaluate a lot of crime at bedtime, children staying awake? Youth isn't going straight. Youth is always confusion to fuming a lot of hate. Tell me if you relate, cause there's a man at the top that don't worry about the law. A man at the bottom who's crying cause he want more. And COVID never made the situation any better. We're feeling under the weather, it's getting worse than before. Elections coming up so we'll get whatever we want. Not everything we need, do you see the people with greed? I pray my country breed, know what George Floyd had to see. Or Trayvon Martin, you don't want to get me started. You don't want to get me started. What influenced my art career as a small boy? I saw a painting on the wall and I was really intrigued by what I saw and I wanted to emulate what I saw. So what I, from what I saw, the painting on the wall, that's what drove me into uh, uh, creating art. And what I do is um, collect newspapers and historical documents and I choose to paint uh, people that I see um, on an everyday basis as well as pictures of my daughter and her friends. What I try to do is um, paint images of joyful children um, despite uh, of the circumstances um, that, that, that happened in the past or in the present. Uh, my artworks is always about hope and it's always about determination, you know, and uh, looking forward. Okay, so I'm painting um, images of my daughter and her friends um, and also of what I see on an everyday basis, people that I see within the inner city of Johannesburg and I take pictures of them and I aim to de uh, depict that on my artworks. Archival images that I use like for old photographs and documents are also capturing the past. Okay, so the kids that I paint are joyful, which is not always represented in the newspapers because of what's happening and also what happens in the past. So my aim in, in, in portraying uh, the kids is hope and a future. Painting the kids actually reflects to me the hope and, and inspiration to the future. Okay, so the kids are actually meant to bring joy, uh, juxtaposing the negativity that we see in the newspapers and the archival documents. So the process of me painting is uh, me uh, using acrylic gel, which is a medium that I use to stick the newspaper or the documents on top of the canvas. So I, the, 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 that's the beginning, and after that I would draw on the documents or the newspaper, and thereafter I would paint, paint and from, from the photographs that I have. I mean, I buy my newspapers, but the historical documents I would usually get online and from people who collect historical documents. I use vibrant colors, um, bright colors uh, in my artworks, mainly primary colors, uh, uh, which would, um, you know, uh, stand out from the more monochrome kind of uh, background that I use on the documents and the newspaper. So they are, the primary colors bring an aspect of joy and an aspect of happiness to the viewer that sees my artworks. Yeah, the primary colors uh, are used to bring happiness in contrast to the dull background. As Andrew Sabella, the artist, what makes me tick is an uh, element of fear, element of um, not knowing the future, um, and it makes me more eager and hungry to discover myself and better myself as an artist. Yeah, I'm still believing that a better tomorrow will surely come. A time when all the children never gon' have to run A time when all the dreams and ambitions will take them out of the victim And put them into positions to beat the one 